place looks like it's been abandoned for quite some time. I wonder if anything still works. This data. Chrono chambers? The coordinates look like they're near the shelter. You should at least wait until someone's home before you visit. I'm very sorry. I'm here to deliver a message and didn't mean to look through your things. Why are you here, stranger? Zeke's sister was seriously wounded, so he asked me to look for help here. We will take care of that. Please leave if you have nothing else. Hello? Hello? I really hope they can help show me.
Everyone calm down. You made the rules. I'll figure out a way. Shirley's not a monster. I'll make her better. shouldn't be like this what happened why is everyone saying those things that's the way things are around there if one of us changed the closest to them will have to put them down At the very least none of us wanted to see this happen to shirley but zeke he paul and i will stay here to keep everyone calm i'll go check on them <laughs> Zeke, she's suffered enough. She's not dead yet. Can't you see the reality of things? She's already... Don't jump to conclusions so easily, Franz. She will be given a new life. <laughs> a new life? As what, a clone? Droid? Or maybe something like you? Isn't it rather superficial to cast judgment on what life is or is not? It is time. Let us go. Zeke, I pray you know what you're doing. I'm gonna bring her home.
Oh, I guess you saw all of that, huh? Who is that with Zeke? Just an old acquaintance, nothing more. She said there's still hope for Shirley. Is that true? <sighs> From what I know, aberration is irreversible. The only thing we can do for the afflicted is to send them on their way, as humans. But Shirley... I don't know how they're planning to save her, but even if they did, would Shirley still be the same Shirley that we knew? You look like you have something to say. Hmm. Zeke sent you to see that person, right? You knew? I should have known that's what Zeke would do. So what did they tell you? I didn't exactly get to meet them. I only requested their help via a communication device, and they said that they would. I also found something that looks like an experiment log. It mentions something called the Chrono Chamber. The Chrono Chamber? Ah, oh, you sly fox. How could I have missed it? Who's Zeke looking for? The leader of the heirs of Ida. Goes by the codename Sage. Even within their organization, he's shrouded in mystery. If he really was on Astra, everything that's happened so far would be the least of our troubles. <sighs> Let's head back to the shelter. We have to tell them about what's happened. Wait! Mr. Franz, there's something I need your help with. What do you want? It's about my identity. I... might be someone from Hykros. What? So... Uh... you lost your memories, right? Well, but the scrapper on the Omnium Tower said I have access to Hykros' weapons. And Shirley said you might be able to help me find out who I am. Other than you and Shirley, who else knows about this? That's all. Shirley... she... I don't think she managed to tell anyone else. <sighs> hmm. All right, I think I get the picture. I'll take you to... Don't mention this to anyone in the shelter for now, though. It's a delicate time. Okay. Understood.
Zeke took Shirley and left with someone. Why didn't you- Stop him? You know him better than I do. Hmm. So who exactly was it? The heirs of Ida. They claim that they can save Shirley. Heirs of Ida? The crazies that tried to overthrow Hykros? Because Zeke and Shirley's parents were once- What? Why hasn't Zeke mentioned this be- What happened to his parents was a meaningless tragedy. They were merely victims of the conflict between Hykros and the heirs of Ida. Surely Zeke wants nothing else now but a calm and peaceful life, right? But now, Shirley's become the heirs of Ida's greatest bargaining chip. They want Zeke, and Zeke would do anything to save his sister. Could the heirs of Ida be behind the Ravager's attack? I can't say for sure, but I know that they're willing to do anything it takes to achieve their goal. We must get Zeke back. We can't let him be a pawn of those lunatics. Leave it to me. I'll find Zeke. The heirs of Ida are not to be taken lightly. You don't- They saved my life. I'm only returning the favor. Palu, the shelter just went through a rough time. Right now, it's of utmost importance to rebuild- Just leave the matter of Zeke to us. I'm planning to take the kid to Hykros and inform them of every- Thank you, Mr. Franz. Don't even mention it. I've arranged for some transportation for you. It's parked outside. When you're all set, we'll head for the Omnium Town. overheard your conversation. Will you really be able to bring Shirley and Zeke back? Mia can sense the internal emotional circuits surging. Shirley and Zeke are important companions. Alas, I am a malfunctioning smart servant, but if I may be of assistance in- All right, let's go and come home together, all four of us. Detected. Please investigate. Let's go up and check it out.
Micros will only start channeling energy into this tower in winter, when the shelter's energy supply runs low. But today... Is something wrong? Don't worry. It may be just a glitch, or a dispatch error. Or someone touching the wrong button. We'll still have to go and talk with those old guys up there if we want to straighten things out. I'm gonna open up a space rift that leads right to the upper level of the Tower of Fantasy. But only for a brief moment. Stay close, kid. Astra Shelter. 
Area code HT501. Territory. Welcome, young one. I'm Klima, commander of the District 9 Executors. Captain Klima, the Omnium Tower. Did something go wrong with it? The heirs of Ida tampered with the energy transmission program. It's causing the five Omnium Towers to send their stored energy back to the Central Tower. The Central Tower has a finite storage capacity. Exceeding it could dangerously overload the system. This... Looks to be a rather serious problem. Do we have any quick fixes? As a safety precaution, we had to vent excess Omnium to the surface at the cost of causing a certain degree of radiation damage. This is not a permanent solution. Huh. <laughs> Just leave these troubles to Archon Elric. Let's focus on you, kid. Before coming up here, I already told them about your circumstances. Fraun submitted a report detailing that you triggered momentary space-time distortions during combat. Is that true? Yes. Time would sometimes flow extremely slowly around me. We call this phenomenon Fantasia. It's a human-generated temporal distortion in a localized area. It's usually an ability only exhibited by executors. The Executor Order is an elite unit formed to handle all forms of Omnium disasters. Its members are genetically augmented to possess a certain degree of control over the time dimension. I found info related to you in the Executor Order's database dated half a year back. You and your squad went MIA during an operation. I... I was an Executor? Indeed. However, we still don't know what happened to you during the la- Archon Elric said that you are not a part of District 9, so they don't have the authority to access your information. Perhaps. Another... district? Hmm. But Archon Elric did say that you'll be under District 9's jurisdiction for the time being. We're currently facing many difficulties. The heirs of Ida are planning something. And the issues with the Omnium Towers need to be res- Hycros has limited manpower in District 9 currently. We need to- your...